It's Mac the Guru. This is my preview for Winning Time Season 2, Episode 5. If this your first time here, make sure you sub to the channel. Everybody click that like button. Check out the other content. I appreciate it. Now, in this episode, we're going to get to see why Jenny Buss and Magic Johnson call each other sister and brother currently today. They really going to start building a relationship. We know they got a great relationship and they didn't have conversations and, you know, they didn't been met each other. But this is going to be a moment where they're going to really create a bond and it will be over none other than Jerry Buss. See, he's doing magic wrong in Magic's head. He's doing Jenny wrong in her head because he's marrying another girl and she don't really want that. She would like to step up and say something to him but she's not but magic will step up and say something to him with his issues and he's gonna really put his foot down and say hey it's either me or this guy paul westhead and that's what's gonna get paul westhead fired and jenny will see that and really love that magic stepped up and said something to her father now in between Paul getting fired, what I really want to see is, is Magic Johnson going to actually miss games for the Lakers? Or did they make the move before Magic could miss any games and he end up playing? Either way it go, Magic Johnson quit on his team and I cannot believe it. I know other players that ask for trades. I know this has happened before, but every scenario is a little different. And to see why Magic is asking for a trade, this is something I thought would have never happened. Because when we learn about Magic and Bird, we just, hey, these guys is what we built the league on, you know. So that's what I kind of knew. And then I watched film on them, so I knew their game. But I didn't know the little details. He is asking for a trade, not because his team don't have any players around him, not because he's not getting paid. He just got the big money for the time period. He's the one that's getting the most money on the team. He's the one that uh, is going to the owner house and got a great relationship with the owner's family and all of this. He's the one. But he still wants to get traded with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on his team, with Michael Cooper on his team, and a list of other guys. He wants to get traded. So it's like, that's not a good reason, man. Just because you can't play in a system, and in this system, you ain't getting the stats that you want, it really kind of exposes Magic Johnson's game a little bit. You know, it does. It really does. Because the greatest players could fit in any system. You could grab Michael Jordan and say, hey, we running the Princeton. We running this system. And no matter what the system is, Michael Jordan could be productive and fit in that system. Kobe Bryant can too. Tim Duncan can too. Larry Bird can too. Kevin Durant can, too. It's a lot of players. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Systems really help big man. You know, Shaq. Hakeem Olajuwon. A lot of these guys can fit in a lot of systems, you know. But it's certain players, great players. Magic, LeBron, Steve Nash, um, Jason Kidd, uh, um, John Stockton. These guys are great players. And they're going to have crazy stats, but they cannot fit into any system. And it makes you think, well, how great are they, right? We know they're great players. I'm not saying they're not great players, but amongst the other great players, are they better than them? It makes me question that now. Y'all let me know. What do y'all think about Magic not being able to fit into the system? Now, Another thing that's going to happen this next episode, Mr. Bus and Cap got to have a conversation. They were supposed to have it this last episode. Paul Westhead gets in the middle and wants to have a conversation with Cap. And he actually was talking to Jerry Bus like, yo, 
this is our team. This is my team. He literally said that to Jerry Buss in the last episode. And Jerry Buss was like, yo, let's clear it out. He sent everybody else home. Like, let me talk to this dude one-on-one and let him know, dude, this is my team. And if we don't win, you getting fired. And we learned from last episode, Paul West said, ain't the right guy to go talking to nobody. I don't care if he got to talk to the landlord. I don't care if he got to talk to the uh, manager of the facility. I don't care who he got to go talk to. He's not the right guy to send to talk to him because his communication skills are horrible. So Mr. Bus and Cap got to have that conversation because in Cap mind, he like, bro, I'm a star too. How many superstars do you got on this team? You need to say two. Or after this year, I'm going to be gone. Remember, Cap only got one year left on his contract. And he didn't say it to the media, hey, I will play in New York City. So that's the thing that they going to have to figure out. We know what happened because we remember history and Cap playing for him longer. But it's going to be dope to see how exactly they going to figure that out, man. It's Smack the Guru. Y'all let me know what y'all think gonna happen this next episode in the comments. And like always, if this your first time here, make sure you sub to the channel. Check out the other content. And y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.